Hi, I am Nirav Panchmatya, Founder CEO of AUM Financial Advisors. Today, I am going to introduce you to the most powerful concept in the world of investing. Ready? You have all heard about the seven wonders of the world. Now, what did the famous scientist Albert Einstein call the eighth wonder of the world? One who understands it, earns from it. One who doesn't, pays for it. Albert Einstein also said this about the eighth wonder. Well, let me clear the suspense. He was talking about the power of compounding. So what's so great about the power of compounding? Why do people call it the eighth wonder of the world? This is what we are going to discuss in this video. Now, isn't it ironical that the most powerful concept in the world of finance was taught to us in school? Well, if you remember, we learned the formula for compound interest in 7th standard. If I recollect it right. Now, let me explain the power of compounding with an example. Ram and Shyam are best friends, but they have very different approach to investing. Ram believes in investing early, so he starts investing on his 20th birthday. Shyam, on the other hand, believes in enjoying life. So he starts investing only on his 48th birthday, 10 years before he is bound to retire, earning 15% per annum return. And both plan to retire on their 50th birthday. Ram invests 5000 a month, whereas Shyam, because he started late and because he intends to catch up with Ram, invests 15,000 rupees a month, three times more than what Ram invests. On their 50th birthday, both Ram as well as Sham end up investing 18 lakh rupees. Ram at the rate of 5,000 a month for 30 years, Sham at the rate of 15,000 a month for 10 years. Observe that the amount that both of them have invested is the same 18 lakh rupees and both of them have invested in the same instrument earning same 15% return per annum. Now here's a question for you. What according to you would be the value of Shyam's 18 lakh investment on his 50th birthday? Any guesses? Shyam's 18 lakh investment on his 50th birthday becomes 39 lakh rupees. Not bad considering that he didn't invest at one time and he invested 15,000 rupees a month only for 10 years. Now let's come to Ram, the investor who started investing 20 years before Shyam. What, according to you, would be the value of Ram's 18 lakh on his 50th birthday? Now, it's clear that Ram's 18 lakh would have turned him more wealth than Shyam because he invested for 30 years, 20 years more than Ram, although the investment amount was the same. So, any guesses? Shyam earned 39 lakh. What would Ram earn? Would it be 50, 75 lakh or more? Well, let me open the Pandora's box for you. The value of Ram's investment on his 50th birthday, hold your breath, is a whopping 2.78 crore. Let me repeat, it's 2 crore 78 lakhs. So what did Ram do differently from Sham? Well, the only thing that Ram did differently from Sham is that he started investing 20 years before Sham. And even though he invested one third less than what Sham invested, he earned a whopping 2.78 crore on his retirement day. That, my friend, is the power of compounding. Concentrate on the time for which you invest, not on the returns that you expect from your investment, neither on the amount, but the number of years that you remain invested is going to determine what wealth you create. Now, if Shyam intends to catch up with Ram, he needs to find an investment avenue where he can earn 102% per annum. Now, we know there is hardly any such instrument out there. This example teaches us the power of N, the number of years that you remain invested. More the number of years that you remain invested, more wealth gets created. Now, carefully observe this table. This table shows the value of rupees 1 lakh invested at various rates of interest for various period of time. Notice that rupees 1 lakh invested at 13% per annum for 10 years grows to 3.4 lakh. That is 3.4 times your original investment. At the end of 25 years, your 1 lakh investment grows to 21 lakh, a whopping 21 times your original investment. So what did we learn from this particular slide? 
as you increase the number of years of your investment the power of compounding kicks in and more the number of years bigger the kicker of the power of compounding do not forget the power of n number of years that you remain invested now let's play gone banning a crorepati let me show you how to earn 1 crore rupees now there are three easy ways to earn 1 crore one buy a lottery ticket second enter kbc but you know what there is a third way of earning a crore rupees let me show you how a mere 30 lakh investment invested in an instrument that earns you 13% per annum for 10 years grows to 1 crore alternatively if you can remain invested for 5 more years that is if you can invest for 15 years then a mere 16 lakh rupees invested at 13% per annum gives you 1 crore at the end of 15 years but if you can find an advisor who can give you 15% per annum return and if you can remain invested for 20 years then a mere 6 and a half lakh rupees will make you a crorepati at the end of 20 years this my friend is the power of compounding not happy with 1 crore you want to earn 100 crores well here's the formula invest 61 and a half lakh for 20 years in an instrument that gives you 15% and voila you have 100 crores in the pocket at the end of 20 years okay so you don't have lump sum amount to invest your savings are not enough to even spare 6 lakh rupees no problem here is a solution for you by investing mere 42000 a month in an instrument that gives you 13% per annum return for 10 years you can create 1 crore rupees 42000 per month seems like a big figure to you no problem if you can invest for 15 years by merely investing 19000 a month in an instrument that gives you 13% per annum you can still become a crorepati isn't it amazing 19000 a month seems like a big figure to you no problem can you invest 7 and a half thousand a month and can you remain invested for 20 years if you can find somebody who can give you 15% per annum my dear friend you will still be a crorepati at the end of 20 years that sir is the power of compounding so where and how you can invest every month and earn a double digit return well mutual fund is one place if invested properly using professional advice you can aim for a double digit return and if you intend to invest every month use sip systematic investment plan sensex the bell wether of the indian stock market is one of a shining example of the power of compounding born in the year 1979 at a value of 100 as we speak sensex is at 32000 so over a period of 38 years it has compounded your wealth at a factor of 320 to 1 that my friend is the power of compounding so what are the lessons that we learned today lesson number 1 beyond a point the returns that your investment will give you in future are not in your control so what's in your control the number of years that you remain invested it's here that you should concentrate lesson number 2 do not commit the blunder of withdrawing your investments too early at least not till you have achieved your financial goal if you remain invested for a long period of time there is a guarantee that the power of compounding will kick in and it will ensure that you create immense wealth that my friend is a secret sauce of wealth creation